Peace everyone, it's Coach Danny, and I'm here today with another video and I just want you to tap in to everything I'm going to be sharing with you in this video because I just want to ask you one question. Are you ready to go all in? And when I say go all in, I really mean are you ready to stop doubting yourself? Are you ready to actually start looking at your life as if you already are living in the wish fulfilled? If you're ready, if you are ready, well, let's get into something very important. Now, I don't know how many people know this, but Neville Goddard talks about the pearl of great price. It's not a topic that's heavily discussed in the manifestation community. However, I truly believe that when you understand this concept, you're going to get why you are the operant power. And I'm also going to be able to show you exactly how you can start to step into being the person who already is living in their desired reality. Now, let's get into the topic. First and foremost, I just want to let you guys know that you were already born worthy of your desires. Nobody is here picking and choosing who gets to be successful, who gets to have their SP, who gets to have money. Nobody's doing that. There's literally endless possibilities for you to pick the desired reality. The question for you right now is, are you willing to wake up every single day until your assumption has hardened into fact? Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to pay the pearl of great price? Because if you are, then let me tell you something. What's on the other side? On the other side of all the releasing and letting go of doubt, resistance to your desires, hoping and wishing, begging and pleading, on the other side of that is love, respect, peace of mind, financial abundance. And there's a deep inner knowing that you truly can create anything you desire to have. So how do we get there? First thing I want you to know is that not just Neville talks about these principles. There are so many other metaphysical thought leaders that have told you that when you focus on the things that you desire to have, you are doing one thing. You are aligning yourself, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your words, your actions. You are aligning that with your higher self, with the 4D, with infinite intelligence. These are things that most people do not talk about in the manifestation community, but I'm here to tell you that once you pay the pearl of great price, once you align yourself to the wish fulfilled, once you stay in the state of a person who is satisfied as if they already have it, there will be nothing that anybody can tell you about being a master manifester. Nobody will be able to tell you or shake you off your square of knowing that you have the power within you. You are ready. I know you are. There is a shift going on. There is a shift in consciousness that is going on that is calling you into your greatness. So are you ready to step up? You beautiful person watching this video. I'm going to share with you some things that you can do to step into that greatness. But before I do that, I want you guys to know that I do have a membership. It's called the Sweet Spot Membership. And we do this stuff all day, every day in the membership. Right now, today, as we speak, as I'm recording this video, we're doing a self-concept challenge for the entire day. And in this membership, I have found a way to consistently show up for people who are like-minded, who want to be consistent and diligent and focus on being the opera power. If you're interested in something like that, you can check the description box down below. I have details on how to join, or if you just want to poke around the website and see exactly what everything is about, you can do that too. And so the reason why I bring up having diligence and being disciplined is because most people do want a quick fix. Most people do want to snap their fingers and have things just happen for them. And I'm not saying that that's not possible. The journey of you realizing that it was you all alone 
is going to be so satisfying for you when you realize that your thoughts are creating your reality. Also, your beliefs about who you are, your self-concept, what you're able to accomplish, who you are, how you treat yourself, how you expect other people to treat you. That is your self-concept. And I want you to also get into the mindset that just because you're watching content on YouTube and people are getting success doesn't mean that there's not movement. All right. So I want to share with you what Neville says about the pearl of great price. OK, when you pay that price and you step in and you go all in with knowing that there is nothing outside of you. You can never return. It's the, it's like it's no returning. Like it's no going back. You know too much. You now know too much. It's like being in the freaking matrix. You now know too much. Once you understand what it means to pay the pearl of great price, you will never go back. The law of assumption will not only help you to realize that these things that you're thinking about all day every day are creating your reality. By studying the law of assumption, self-concept, and other things within the law of assumption community like inner conversations, you'll start to realize that this is going to be a lot easier than you think. So let me just share with you and we're going to deep dive a little bit into what the Pearl of Great Price really means, okay? Everyone in the world is using this only power, but they don't know it. And so Neville is trying to bring us to the knowledge of his power and the wise use of it. It's called, as we first quoted it, the pearl of great price. So great is this pearl, so valuable, that it takes everything that you own to buy it. Now, you don't go and liquidate your stocks and bonds. You don't sell your homes. You don't go and empty your bank account. You don't go and sell off all your jewelry or anything like that. But it takes everything that you now believe in other than it to pay for it. You believe in authority, you got to sell it. You believe in numerology, teacup leaves and astrology, all these things, even tarot. And I'm just interjecting what he's saying that even those of you who love tarot readings, he's also talking about this as well. You got to sell it. No matter what you believe in as a power to control you, you've got to sell it. It takes all these beliefs and you've got to sell them. No one will buy them from you, but you give them up as valueless. Therefore, there's no price attached, no value whatsoever. Do you guys understand what this man is really saying to you? That you can't be giving all your power to things outside of you. I know we love tarot readings. I know we love astrology. I know we love to do the 333 method, the 369 method. I know we like robotic affirming and all these other techniques. But at the end of the day, none of these things are working outside of you. You are giving them power. You are giving them belief. So if you're going to continue to use them, just know it's you doing it. There I said it. They have no power. Only the power that you give these things, these techniques and things outside of you. And this is the pearl of great price that you must must pay. You must begin to realize that you don't need these things to manifest. So go all in with believing in your own power. Now, how do we do that? How do we do that? I want to also to reiterate something that Neville says about the pearl of great price. This is not to be super religious. It has nothing to do with religion. When he refers to God, he's talking about your own human imagination. So I want to dive a little bit deeper into the Pearl of Great Price. And I want you to realize that I'm going to keep reiterating that you are the operant power of your reality. I want you to understand that Neville wasn't always against things outside of himself. He actually did start out as being a person who read tarot cards. He literally thought that he was looking at cards and the cards were telling him about this person's future or things about them. And so he realized that every time he thought about something that was related to a client that was in front of him with or without the cards, it came true for them. And so he realized with the mentorship of 
Abdullah, who was his good friend, that it was the power within him telling himself that he was good at reading for other people. He was literally creating a reality where he was a tarot card reader and his readings were very accurate. It wasn't a tarot card, it was literally him. And when he realized that, he changed the way that he expressed to people how to use the law, the law of assumption. So I'm not telling you something that, you know, I'm just making up. Neville himself even realized that the power was within him, not outside of himself. And this is no shade to people who like tarot card readings because I read tarot. But I want you to start to look at those things as entertainment or a way for you to maybe refocus or have some fun or loosen up a little bit. Because those cards don't have any power over your final decision. Okay? If you say one thing and a tarot card reader tells you something else, baby, your assumptions trump the tarot card reader. Now let me go a little bit deeper into what Neville says about paying the price. But you cannot hold on to one thing you now believe in as a power that controls your life and still hope to buy the pearl of great price. Everything you now believe in, whether it be even the drugs you take, even the diets, if you're a vegetarian and you think that that's the way to God, if you're a meat eater and you think that's the way to God, if you listen to tarot and you think that's the way to God, now, I'm putting this into the, the passage. If you turn around three times, clap your hands, and shout, yeah, and you think that's the way to God, you think that's the way to get your manifestation, there is no other way but except to Christ, okay? And it says here, now, this is a religious passage, but just hear me out here. No one comes unto the Father but by me. And here he defines it. He is the only way in the world to everything in this world that you and I seek. And it takes everything that we own as to beliefs that we think are powers to guide our life to pay for that pearl of great price. If you think for one moment you can hold on to one little thing in the events that doesn't work, you can't buy the pearl. So when I buy the pearl... I go all out and live by it. And there is no other being in this world, just this pearl, and I live by this. This pearl, listen up, this pearl is known as your wonderful human imagination. That is God. Your own human imagination is God. And you must pay the pearl of great price to be able to inherit the kingdom of God. That is what they mean by that. To be able to live an abundant, healthy, happy, whole life, go within. And burn everything else that you've ever believed about having to have somebody tell you something or give you something or give you a technique. Unless that's something you truly want to do. If you love techniques, continue to do them with the assumption that every technique that I touch works for me. If you get a tarot card reading with the assumption that every tarot card reading that I get, this is something that I'm using for entertainment or just to kind of just get myself into alignment with what I know to be true. That's what I want you to learn about going all in. Now, what I will tell you is that if I were you right now listening to this video, I would make a decision that from this day forward, I'm going to consult with myself and how I feel what I'm thinking, what I'm aware of. And I'm going to make a decision that this is the way I want my reality to go. This is what I want you to do right now. Sometime today, and whenever you have free time, make a list of all the things you desire to have. And then start becoming the person who has them. Identify with them. Research people who have done what you desire to do. And say, okay, now I'm going to embody the qualities of a person who has what I desire. And I'm never looking back. Blaze the path of least resistance. Blaze it. Bam, I'm here. There is no past. Oh my goodness, can I really do it? Oh, those thoughts are gone, baby. We're now in the present moment of I have, I am, I am doing. 
Show up for yourself and tell yourself every day, it is done. Check in with yourself every day and ask yourself, am I living in a wish fulfilled? Am I assuming that I have my desires as if they are here right now? And if you're not, that's okay, but you can get back into alignment. Do this for yourself. You deserve it. I love you dearly. You guys have a beautiful day wherever you are. And I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.